children. This is St. Florence YouTube channel. I am Manoj sir, your mathematics teacher. I am teaching math since last 30 years. A lot of chapters already I have done. Now this uh, ratio proportion is going on, going on. One another part of this is there. But before teaching that one, I want to give some concept. This concept giving details in the book. Details I will not give you, give you over here. I just explain you what is this. So try to understand the basic thing of this particular thing. Invertendo, alternendo, componendo, dividendo, componendo and dividendo, convertendo. And this the third part is given, one condition is here. So this I will explain you in a very easy manner, in a very easy way. Mainly the most important thing is componendo and dividendo. Mostly I will be using while doing the sums. All these I will use but very little. But this one I have to use a lot in the sums. So before going to the chapter, I have to explain this one. So this concept you have to know very well. Now see, one ratio is given. A is to B and C is to D. Okay. Ratio, proportion, sorry, this proportion is given. One proportion is given A is to B and uh, equal to C is to D. It is given. Now what is the meaning of this I can write what is A by B equal to C by D. Okay. Now one number I am explaining. Invert endo inverse and opposite. So A by D, C by D given. I have to write D by A equal to D by C. Is it? How to is coming or all this given in the book? Invert endo means just write in opposite way. A by B becomes B by A. C by D becomes D by C. Plus finished. This only you have to remember invert endo. Now the second part I will explain you. What is alternendo? What is alternendo? Number two. Or right here one number, what I said one number, B by A equal to B by C. Number two is alternando. Alternando means in cross way we can change. That means the B I can place here and C I can place here. So what I can say A by C and B will go there, B by D. When I do cross multiplication, same thing will come. Here cross multiply we do AD equal to BC. Here also AD equal to BC. Here also AD equal to BC. Okay, children. So if I do inverse, invert and do, I will do crosswise change. Crosswise change means this will go here and this will come here. This is called alternando. Very easy. Now what is componendo? Componendo is that A by B is given. So if A by B are equal to C by D given. So if I add one both sides, let plus one I have done, then what comes? It will come A plus B by B and it will come C plus D by D. Component means addition. Directly I can say A plus B by B equal to C plus B by D. What is this? It is component. If dividend I will say, what I will do? I have to subtract it. One very nicely I explain what is that? Component and dividend. Okay, that I explained very nicely. So if I say number four, I say component and dividend. So this component I have done. Now dividend. Dividend means what? In place of plus, write minus. So it will come a minus b by b and comes c minus d by d. Okay, so this is called dividend. So component is clear. Component means the a by B is given, so A plus B right by B. And that side, C plus D by D. A plus B by B, C plus D by D. And dividend is same thing, only minus you have to do. So I think you are clear, componendo and dividendo. Okay, children. Now this componendo and dividendo, this I have to addition also, I have to do subtraction also. That means this one, I have to do this one also and this one. If this divide by this, what happens if this divide by this? So this by this, see, a plus b, it is number 2, uh, 3 and 4. So 3 divide 4, what comes here? a plus b by b, are here given a minus b by b. Here coming c plus d by d, here coming c minus d by d. Now these two cancel, what is coming? a plus b by a minus b, c plus d by c minus d. This is called component and dividend. This you have to remember very well. Whenever question, I will tell you component and dividend. If given a by b, 
This one table is very well. Very important. This one. This is mostly required by doing sums. If a by b, c by b given, all these are not two. But simply remember these two addition on top. That means a plus b is here, and their subtraction down. That means a minus b is here. Same thing you have to write here also. One side we cannot do. So that side also I can say c plus b and c minus b. Okay, if it is given a by a, here something like a by one. What I will do? Can I also do m by n is m plus n by m minus n. On that side, a plus one by k minus. Okay, children. This 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 particular thing will do lot of times. So this you have to remember very well. Now two more parts is given. One is convert rainbow, another is called this one. So these are actually say first a by b, c by b, e by a. Lot of things are given. What I can do? You can write like this: a plus c plus e by b plus b plus a. Like this, we can add it. Okay. So this is simple. Just apply all the numerators. Then all numerators we have to add it. Now, children, I have to explain this one first. Then I'll come to this. A by b equal to c by d equal to e by f. E by f is given. Then what I can do? If one property is there, all the numerator part we have to add it. By all the denominator parts we have to add it. This we can do. Wherever required, I will do this. One last part is that that is convert endo. This we have to understand. What is the ratio uh, proportion? A by b equal to c by d. A by b equal to c by d. Then e by two plus one, sorry minus one, minus one. You can see by d. It is take one number and it is take minus one. Now from here what will come? It will come a minus b by b equal to c minus b by d. And this I have taken number two. Now what I will do? One I have to divide by two. One what is a by b divide? When you multiply this, it will come b by a minus b. And what is that? C by D into if you divide multiply D by C minus D this is cancelled so A by A minus B and C by C minus D little different is but don't confuse this is mostly not easy mostly I have to use component dividend that is given the book so I have to explain you so from here what I can say A is two A minus B equal to C is two C minus two so this type of operation. This type of operation is called convert endo. Understand? One ratio is here given. Sorry, proportion is given. Another one is dividend is given. So this divide by this, it will come. This type of operation is called convert endo. So this concept you should clear yourself. Then we can come for the sums. Especially I told you compound and dividend. We have to remember very well. Okay, children. Then from next video, I have to start problems related to this. Okay, goodbye, children.